With me is Chip Hanauer, the driver of the Atlas Van Lines. It was a year ago that Fran Muncy committed to stay in hydroplane racing, and part of that commitment was to build a safer race boat, which Bill Muncy and the Atlas team have sought after. And Chip, in 1982, you revolutionized the sport somewhat by putting airfoils or wings across the front of the boat. You've compounded on this year where safety lies ahead of speed in terms of goals, isn't it? It really is. You know, uh, if anything, we've lost two of the, the greatest drivers the name of the, the sport's ever had, and it, we felt it was time to do something, to change something, to try and improve it. Well, when you did that, last year you put the airfoils in the front, and fans across the country saw the Atlas lift out of the water repeatedly and stay on the water. Uh, was it security to you as you drove at those amazing speeds? Well, it wasn't security, but it gave me a boat that was much more easily handled. Um, you know, if the boat got out of shape, I could recover it. Where before, if I hadn't had those winglets, I may have not been able to recover the boat and get it back to a good racing attitude. Well, you've added to the wings this year by a totally new cockpit design. Would you expand on that? Well, what we've done, Sam, is we've lowered myself down inside the boat to get me as low as possible to use the boat for protection. Then we've used a seatbelt system to hold me in the boat so that I stay in the boat long enough to take advantage of this protection. And then we replaced the fiberglass cowling, which is this area of the boat here. Uh, the fiberglass cowling afforded no protection at all. This is a honeycomb aluminum cowling and is actually the strongest part of the boat. So now I'm surrounded by as much protection as humanly possible. And for our viewers at home to understand a little bit more, most of our drivers you see on the race are sitting this high above the cockpit. That's exactly right. But now let's show them how Chip Hanauer sits. Okay, this is where I sat last year. I looked right over the top of the cowling. This is where I sit this year. And you've added to that. You're down lower, your head's beneath the engine. And most importantly, I think one of the innovations that everyone's taking a look at this year are seat belts. How does that affect you? Is it a new sense of security in the boat? It really is. You know, before I was using my arms also to stay in the boat, not just steer the boat, but to hold myself in the boat. Now I can relax my arms and use them just to drive the boat because I'm held very tightly in here by this five-point belt system, which is the same belts that are used in an Indianapolis race car or a Formula One race car. A last question, Chip. The emphasis in Thunderboat racing this year is safety before speed. Obviously, you've taken strides to become safer. Do you think this safety is going to bring on more speed in the future? I think so. You know, we've made a cleaner aerodynamic boat this way. I can read the boat better. I have a better perspective of the boat. And I think, yes, in the long run, uh, it's going to mean more competitive speeds and safer speeds. Safety before speed, the goal of unlimited racing in 1983. Jim?